If your forms are getting so huge that you have to scroll to the right or down, you may want to consider adding tab pages. They are pages you can add to your forms with the tab up at the top for each page. So if I want to be able to view the first page, click on the first tab. Second page, click on the second tab. And all of it's within the same viewing area. In other words, the pages are stacked. A great example of this is our friend, Mr. Ribbon. Up here, you've got a viewing area that's yay big, and if you want to change it from viewing these commands, well, then just click on another tab. You could call these tab pages, although it doesn't look like much of a page. It's so skinny that they call it a ribbon. So same thing. Let's go ahead and create a form from scratch. We'll do it by design. Let's go ahead and click on that, and ooh, that's a pretty big one. Let's scroll down. Hover over the bottom of the grid until you can see arrows pointing up and down, and click and drag and push that up a little bit, so it's about yay big. And then we want to be able to base our form upon what? A table, a query. Let's go ahead and do it upon the new customer query. Right click on that. Go to the design view to see what table or tables it's based upon. So it's customer and billing info. Great. Let's go ahead and close out of there. And to base this form upon that query, we need to bring up the property sheet for this form. We can do that by double clicking in a gray area really fast. Brings up the property sheet for the form. And we go to the All tab, and the record source, or the source of the records for this form, is coming from, click in it, click on the drop-down arrow, and hey, there we go, our new customer query. Select that, and we're good. Close out. Now let's go ahead and add that tab control, or the tab pages, to our grid down below. By coming up here and clicking on the Design tab, going to the Controls group, and it's right there. Click on it, move over the grid, you get a plus sign that says you're going to be adding something. And what is it? Well, it's going to be the tab pages. Click, and there we go. We get two pages. Yay! Well, you can add more, but I'll show you that later. Right now, we're content. Let's go ahead and hover over the border until we can see a four-way arrow. Click and drag it over. And I don't know about you, but when it comes to customers and our orders, if I put the customer name on the first page and their orders on the second, page one and page two, the names aren't doing it for me. So we can put like client here, then their contact information over here if, well, maybe we don't want to do orders. In any case, let's go ahead and give them names to do that. You can, well, when it comes to selecting, you can click on the actual tab there, and it puts the selection on that page as opposed to, well, click on the border, the entire control. Now, as you recall in an earlier training video, that when it comes to selecting text boxes, or in this case, control, this tab control in their pages within the form, you can bring up the property sheet like by double clicking really fast on the border and then over here you can see that the selection is tab control. If you want to select page one or page two, click on the drop down arrow and hey, there they are, page one selects it and then page two. So if you want to be able to change the properties for the entire control, well, go ahead and select the entire control here or, you know, if you're good with the mouse, then just click on the border. In any case, you can do it either way. So let's go ahead and select page one. You can see page one is the selection here. And then that name right there over on the All tab is for the back end user, how you want to go ahead and design it, how you reference or refer to, well, this page here. You can call it whatever you want, but for the front end user, you may want to make it more user friendly. So this is what we'll see on the front end view is what you type in the caption. So let's do client, hit enter, and it updates. Yay, it's to client now. Nice. And page two, let's select that. Let's type in caption. We'll do contact information or just contact. And there we go. And so for our first tab, we'll just have, well, let's add some fields here like the customer ID, customer name, and address. And to add the fields that this form is based upon from the new customer query, well, let's come up here on the design tab, go to the tools group, and click on add existing fields. So here are the fields that are available from that query. And with our tab selected, let's go ahead and double click on customer ID. Oh, that's not going to work. It doesn't add it onto the control here. The tab, click and drag, can we add it that way? Hmm. I don't think it's going to do it. I think it's just being laid over it because when it comes to, let's take this for a test drive. Let's go ahead and click on the view button and click. You see how it's just showing in front of both of them? Okay, not a good idea. Let's go ahead and right click and go back to the design view and then delete that. And so instead, you want to make sure that you select, well, not the entire control, but the tab there, so it's right there. And instead, let's go ahead and click and drag customer ID. Oh, you see how it highlights it? Oh, that's a good sign. And let go, and it puts it right on that page. 
And as you recall in earlier training videos, I showed you how to move your controls around, your text boxes and their labels, either collectively or independently, so you want to watch that on your earlier training videos of forms and reports. Assuming that we're advanced now, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly move it around. Or instead of doing it that way, you know, by clicking and dragging for each one, let's go ahead and select it, hit the delete key and get rid of it. You can go ahead and select them like customer ID and then hold down the control key and do customer name. Or if it's a block selection, hold down the shift key and click the last field there. But I'm going to do customer ID, customer name with the control key and also let's do the address and then click and drag and put them right there and then click and drag it. Okay, cool. So that's on the client tab. When I click on the contact, I click on that. It disappears because the other three fields are on the other tab. So on this tab, I want to be able to add, well, the contact name of the person, which is going to be their last name. Hold down the control key, first name, click and drag. So we know the name of the person that we can contact over at that company, that client, and we'll keep it simple like that. Ooh, maybe we need a phone number. Good idea. Let's go ahead and select it, click and drag, and add it right there. And of course, we can move it around here and click and drag that gray box over. Okay, great. And let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. Let's close out of here. And we already kind of did, but let's right click, go to the form view, and there you go. So it's all within the same viewing area, just like the ribbon. Just go ahead and click to update to go to the other tab and well, go back and this is for the first record all this is tied together so when I go to the next record well you got the client and then the contact for that second record is Shelly Collins and let's go back to the client tab so you can see it's highlighted in the customer ID when I hit the tab key it goes to the customer name then address hit the tab key again and it goes to the next record now, when I hit the tab key, let's say it goes from customer ID to address, and then it goes to customer name. If you get the tabbing out of order and you want to fix that, well, we went over this in an earlier training video, but here's a quick review. Let's go ahead and right-click in a blank area, go to the design view, and let's go to the client tab, and then bring up the property sheet for the client tab with the double-click on the border, and you can see it's page one, so we got it selected correctly, and the caption is client. And so let's come up here on the design tab, go to the tools group, and there it is, tab order. Click on it, and we've got the three fields that you see here in the tab order. So customer ID first, the name and address. If I want to go ahead and rearrange that, one way is to go ahead and hover over the row header for that row, which is that gray box, until you can see an arrow pointing to the right. Click on it, selects the row, then click on the selection, and go ahead and drag it up, and there we go, customer name is now first. So when I go ahead and view this in the form view, it'll start in the customer name, hit the tab key, it'll go to the customer ID, and then hit it again, and it goes down to the address. Want to see? Okay, stop twisting my arm. Let's go ahead and right-click, go to the form view, starts in the customer name, hit the tab key, goes up, hit the tab key, it goes down. All right, right-click, let's go back to the design view, and let's come back up here, tab order, because last but not least is the auto order. And what that does is it looks over here, in this case, on this tab, starts in the upper left-hand corner and goes from left to right, top to bottom. So in the upper left-hand corner, which isn't too far, it's the first field here, customer ID, it looks at that, puts that first, and then if there's anything over to the right of that, any other fields, that would be second, then third, fourth. Once it's done with that row, starting in the upper left-hand corner, then it goes to the next row, and it goes from left to right, then it goes to the next row, left to right, and so here's customer ID, nothing over there, so it goes to the next row, customer name, nothing over to the right, so it goes to the next row, address, and that's what auto order is. Click on it, and there we go. Click okie dokie. Finally, I don't know if this is going to be really helpful, is that you can actually change the styles for the tabs by selecting the entire control here. And to do that, you want to click on the border of the tab up at the top, or if you can't do that, then come over here in the property sheet, click on the drop down arrow, and look for TAB for the tab, and then CTL, the control, go ahead and select that. And then over in the property sheet, you have, well, not many styles. And it starts off with tab, click in that field, click on the drop down arrow, you get buttons and none. Well, when I choose none, you literally get no buttons. Haven't figured out the purpose for that yet, but in any case, let's keep it simple and go back to tabs, that was the default. Now in earlier versions of Access, like 2013, 2010, 
when you went from tabs to buttons, it was really definitive. You could tell the difference. But here, well, let me show you. First of all, you see where it says contact. There's no line underneath it. Okay, so that's the difference between a tab and, when you click on the drop-down arrow, buttons. You get a line. Oh, joy. So, if you want to go with that, great. In any case, maybe Microsoft will do an update and make it more definitive into a button that, well, in earlier versions, it was very distinguishable, but there you go. Let's go ahead and right-click, go to the form view, and that's a button because it's cut off. So let's go ahead and click on contact and client. My two tabs. Oh, to go ahead and add tabs or to remove them, let's right-click in a blank area, go to the design view, and you can go ahead and right-click on that control, and you can insert a page. Now, what if I'm not right-clicking on the control? What if I just have like a, you know, I don't know about tabs. Let me go ahead and click on the control. And let's just, well, buttons, I mean. Let's go back to tabs. There we go. In any case, if I go ahead and I have a tab selected and I right-click there, can I go ahead and add a page? Of course you can. Insert, delete. It's the same thing as if you right-clicked on the border of the entire control, insert, delete pages. So insert a page. There you go. You want to go ahead and reorder the pages? Well, let's go ahead and right-click and go down to page order. So page 11, let's go ahead and move it up in between client and contact. Click okie dokie. And you know how to go ahead and give it a name with it selected. Come over here and type in, well, a caption. Hit enter and updates it. So you can go ahead and reorder it by right-clicking on the border. And, of course, after we insert, we can also delete it. And it's gone. You may want to save your form here. So come up here, click on the Save button. There we go. FRM, My Employee Info. Hit Enter. And there we go. It's up there on the tab and also add it over here in the navigation pane. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.